Hi guys, today I will show you how to install YouTube TV on a desktop computer. You can install it on a Linux or Windows computer. Today we will install it on Windows. You have to download the YouTube client. Here is where you can get it from. It's from GitHub. That's the place where developers develop their code for free and they give it to people. You have to scroll down and select your version of the operating system. In this case we're downloading for Windows. Once it is downloaded we have to install it. Installing it is not that difficult. I will show you as soon as the download is ready. Let's have a look. It will take approximately two minutes for the download to be finished. After which we will install it and I will show you how you can connect it to your phone. You can cast to your YouTube TV client from your phone just like you can from your standard television. Once you connect the phone to the television or to the TV client you can play something on the phone and instead it will go to the TV, it will play it on the TV and it will use the TV sound system. Like this you can play videos even if your screen is locked and you can use your uh, phone as a remote control. After all, when you swipe on your phone and change the video on your phone, that will also change the video on the television. Sometimes when your remote isn't working or when you want to control your computer from a phone, this is a very good alternative. You're actually controlling only the YouTube TV client, but it is more than enough. There are other TV clients as well. We will have a look at that as well. Currently I am testing a couple of options to make your laptop into a television. It's the same, but there is only one downfall. You cannot use a remote with a computer. You have to manually type in whatever you need to use the mouse and so on. However, let's have a look what we can do with the YouTube TV client. It's ready. Now we are installing it. It will take a couple of moments. Of course, we have to allow access to all networks. That means that the YouTube TV client can connect to all networks. And now that it has opened, we can start using it. Let's see. It already shows you. Sign in with your Google account by and scanning this QR code. That means that you can use your mobile phone to scan the QR code and then it will link to the account on your phone. Let's have a look. takes a couple of moments until it's actually working it's showing me the code that you see here so I can make sure it's the correct television I'm linking the account almost ready that's great. It has been linked. It will show on the TV client in a couple of moments. Welcome. And now we can use the YouTube TV with this account. You can always link other devices by going to the settings, link with Wi-Fi. All the devices have to be on the same Wi-Fi. Link with TV code. You can use this TV code after you press the cast button on your YouTube on the mobile phone. And that's pretty much it at the moment. I do have a linked device, but it will take a couple of moments for this to get updated. Sometimes it takes 15 minutes approximately for the linked devices to show. All right, now let's have a look at what we can do. You can search from here, type as normally. That's great, this is working. You can use the keyboard, pressing escape, returns you, go back and so on. Let me start the video. 
Now I'll start something on my phone and it should play on the computer. New device connected. I press the cast button and it automatically finds the television and connect. It's already connected. It just asks me do I want to play the video on the television instead of on my phone. You have to give it a couple of moments if your internet is slower, less than uh, 75 megabits per second, then you may have problems. You have to wait a couple of moments until it actually connects. However, after the connection is established, you will be able to play the videos on the television instead of instead of your phone. Right now it is connecting. Let's start the video. That's great. Now it's showing connecting, but uh, once I start the video, it directly plays it. In which case, you just have to start any video and it should be working. This is our other video on how to actually install something on um, a Linux computer. It's the same YouTube TV client and it is working on Linux as well. You can try it whenever you want to. Thanks for watching guys, feel free to buy us a copy by donating on our PayPal link and also if you have any questions just comment. Bye guys!